So if we look at the inside of this battery case, we can see it's actually it's pretty dirty. Um, this one black lead had come off this side, and a positive lead might be that way. So I'm going to re-solder both of these, and then I think I'm going to also re-solder this white wire here and clean these contacts up. Um, it looks like maybe it was spilling a little bit of um, acids or whatever in here. I might also make these a slightly heavier wire. These seem fairly thin for charging. Um, well, they probably are stranded. Okay, so I'm going to get busy cleaning that up. Okay, so inside this battery pack I've decided I'm going to try and remove, instead of soldering to this point, I'm going to try and remove this, which looks like I should be able to. It might have some Loctite, old Loctite on there. And then these, this is where the negative and positive wires used to hook. They came off, and these are secured by push pins, or push nuts, I mean. You can see them down in there, so I think to get these off, it's such a confined spot, I may try just to tap these on through, tap the center on through the nut. Okay, so I couldn't get these um, slip nuts off here. So um, what I did end up doing is just indenting the back of the uh, fixture. Sorry for a moment here. Um, and I'm just going to try to re-solder the wires on here. And then I also um, cleaned up these parts here, and I'll just reattach a wire around to here. Okay, so to get these uh, wires to stay in these contacts, what I've done is um, over here I've drilled out the centers of these in, with a little, probably about a, a little more than a 16 three, 3.30 seconds or something. So that's a hole that goes down there and then I'm fashioning these ends for the wire. I'm going to solder these on and then these will stick down in that little hole in here and then be re-soldered. And hopefully that'll keep it, keep the ends secure. Okay, so this is what these ends come out looking like, Whoop. and um, what I'll do is I'll shrink, heat shrink them, uh, but I pulled on them and they're pretty strong. Okay, now I put some heat shrink on these wires here too, just to give a little added security there. Um, what I gotta do is clean up the edges of this battery pack uh, because it, I'm going to glue it back together and want it to be pretty smooth. And when this goes back together, it's got these little um, clips that have to work that clip into the body of the device that it's going on. And to get it together, this is the little working piece down here, and this is the up and down um, release. To get it together, you have to actually get the batteries in it, get it all pushed in there together, get this thing down inside there where it locks down, and then I'll have to take this plaque off, because underneath here, in this little hole is where the, in this little hole here, is where the spring, you have to reach through the hole from the other side of the battery and put the spring in here, and that allows you to um, get this return motion. So first, I gotta clean these up pretty smooth, though, so they can, so I can uh, make sure I get a good seal there. And then also, I have to still heat shrink wrap this whole battery in it. And then I'll attach these wires on it, and put it together. Okay, so here's the little Japanese box trick. This inside here is a lever. Um, can barely see the tip of it right here. And what has to happen, this label, you take this label off here and it exposes this little hole 
and then you get the battery all back together and then you take this little spring and you stick it through this hole onto that metal uh, tab in there and then that makes it so the um, this button here which I have taped right now so it can go up and down and release the battery and then you put the you glue the label back glue the label back in place Okay, so now the wires are attached here, negative, positive, positive, negative, and then the, um, this is the thermistor wire, and then this is Captain Cape tape. So now I just got to, um, I got to still heat shrink the battery and then place it in here, and then, um, close the battery up. Okay, so we got this all back together. I gotta glue it together now, but I wanted to test it in this charger and see if it um see if it'll actually work. Okay, so if it's in this charger then this the light on the charger should be blinking, which it is down there. So it's is charging it. So yeah, I gotta take it back out of here. I got the button taped down so it wouldn't fall off, but I'll take it out of here and um, go ahead and do the final gluing on it. All right, I want I want to uh, show. This is that little spring that you have to put in to make this button work. So. What it does is you push down and this will release it out of here. So this little this little spring in here, that's why you gotta put through the hole on the outside. And now that I have that in there and I, once I get it glued back, I'll just glue the um, tag back on here. The tag's made out of metal, thin metal. Okay, so I used uh, super glued gel and put it in a um, clamp, one of my soft clamps, and um, let that set for 24 hours. And now after testing it and making sure that it opens and stuff, I'll um, reattach the little label back onto here, and I'll just use um, silicone adhesive. Okay, so now I've got it back together. What I'm going to do finally is take some... Um, super glue type gel and I'll um, go along the seam here so you can see now I put these bat this battery back together and charged both of these and this is the old battery which has been charged it's six three eight and this is the rebuilt battery which has been charged 638 so I think they'll it'll probably work now so um, now I'll just test it on the device to make sure